Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to another World Cup predictions video. Today we are doing Group D and as I've done for the other groups so far, I'm going to have a little rundown on these sides and then do my predictions. There's timestamps down below if you just want to jump to the prediction part, that's absolutely fine. Not a problem, but if you could hit like and if you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing because that helps me out a lot. But let's jump into the group and let's talk about the reigning champions. France. France really could name two 11s and it be a very, very strong side. They are undoubtedly one of the favourites to win this tournament. They have a fearsome front line with uh, Mbappe, with Benzema, with Griezmann. Will they miss Conte and will they miss Mbappe? Will they miss um, Pogba? Yeah, I think they will miss their experience, but they do have replacements in there as well. Uh, in the back line, it is unbelievably strong as well uh, so there's not really many weaknesses in this French side I think the biggest weakness might come from them being a bit complacent and I think they might be a bit sloppy like they were in the Euros and they might find themselves going out maybe earlier than they should have done if they have got their stuff together um, I think they're going to be right up there with Brazil and Argentina as the size of the serious contenders for this World Cup. And as, as I said, there's just not many weaknesses in their team. Plenty of weaknesses in this Australia side, though. Uh, it's an Australia side that doesn't really have a lot of quality. All the names, Premier League player names that they've had in the past. Um, the strength of the Australian side is going to be in the midfield with the hard work and the energy that's going to be put in from Cameron Devlin of Hearts and Keanu Backers of St. Mirren. They tried to get Christian Volpasu, but he snubbed them. So they haven't really got anyone up front who's really going to bang in the goals. I think it's going to be a tough tournament for the Aussies. Uh, they, they seem to qualify with ease, but they never really seem to do much uh, at the World Cup ever since they since the first time. They arrived in a World Cup back in 2006. But three and out for the Aussies, unfortunately. I just don't think they've got that great of a squad. Tunisia are not a side to be underestimated. Uh, they've got a good midfield and they're pretty adaptable and they're very well organised as well. They can play 4-3-3. They can put that into a 4-5-1. The biggest thing is really the lack of quality. They've got some players with some good techniques, um, but they don't really have a lot of imagination in the final third. And I think they could be a bit susceptible to when they come up against size with good pace and movement, um, I think it's going to cause them a lot of problems. I don't really see a lot of depth in the squad as well. So being landed in this group with France and Denmark, it's been a bit of a tough draw for them and I don't see them really pulling up any trees in this tournament. And that brings me to Denmark and I am quite big on this Denmark team. I think they are one of the hardest sides to play against in world football. I think they are an incredibly difficult side to come up against. They've got a very strong side starting with Schmeichel in goal. The likes of Hoiberg in midfield is having an excellent season. They've got that creativity back with Ericsson which maybe was a little bit lacking in the Euros. Obviously we know what happened to him and it's just great to see him back on the field but he is having a great season for Man U and I think he's, you know, he always seems to transfer that into when he plays for Denmark. They might have a little bit of a struggle with scoring goals. A little bit like what we've seen with Switzerland in previous tournaments. The team is play so much better than the sum of the parts and really that is down to Kasper Hulmult who's done a wonderful job with this Danish team they're very high in the FIFA world rankings they've beaten France recently as well and I have a funny feeling that they are going to win this group and indeed it may be worth a few shiny pennies on Denmark winning this group and here is how I have them doing it. Uh, I have them starting with a comfortable 2-0 win over Tunisia. France are going to absolutely destroy Australia. Sorry, Aussie fans, uh, but I just don't see you putting up much of a fight. I see it being a bit like a damp piece of tissue and France just firing through it. That sounds a bit dirty. Um, Tunisia will then get a narrow win over Australia and then France versus Denmark, the one that's going to seal it all. I just see the Danes nicking it. I see the Danes nicking that by two goals to one. And then I see France going on and having an easy win against Tunisia. And I see Australia and Denmark playing out a 1-1 draw. So Australia won't go home with absolutely nothing. They will get a draw, but that does mean that Denmark do go through with seven points as the group winners and France in second place. Look, that might be wrong. France might go out and absolutely blitz everybody. That's just my predictions. Let me know your comments down below. I'll be fascinated to know your comments on this one. Go check out my previous videos. I had a big shock in Group C if you haven't gone and checked that one out. And also Group A and Group B are up too. 
thank you very much for watching if you can hit like and hit subscribe that'll be great and um, i'll be back uh, for the remaining groups in the coming days so thanks again i'll see you soon